Hello. Um, I just wanted to do a quick little project share. Um, I was inspired by a couple of ladies on YouTube. My friend Kayla um, from Instagram did a really cute little broom on her one of her projects recently, and then I saw um, Tony do a tutorial. So I was inspired by all those ladies and wanted to recreate one of my own. So I have been making rosette over the past couple of weeks on the weekends when I had free time. When I was with my kids in the car, um, we were doing family errands. I brought all my crepe paper with me. So I was just sitting there playing around with it and um, making rosettes. So anyways, um, I just started playing with my crepe paper. I said, oh, I don't have any of that raffia that Tony has, but I do have this black crepe paper. So I started folding it and playing with it and I had scissors and I just started snipping away. So I'm gonna create this broomstick using some paper straws, a glue gun, and streamers from Dollar Tree. So I cut some straws I had in half. That's two different straws, obviously. I went ahead and cut this one down already and I hot glued a little sticker on it ahead of time. So what you wanna do is you just are going to take some streamer like that and you're just gonna cut a little strip off, maybe like 12 inches or so, however full you would like your broom to be. So it's about that long. If you fold it in half, it's one palm stretched out. So you just double that and then you just take it and you're just gonna fold it like this into squares until you're done folding it all the way to the end. You're gonna fold, fold, fold. So then you're just going to cut in strips, not all the way down because then it will be too close to the edge. Just cut all the way until you get to the end of your square. And you want to keep it nice and straight so it doesn't get uneven. And it's okay if it does, it doesn't have to be perfect. So then you're gonna have something like this and then you're just gonna unroll it and you'll see all your little cut marks that you made on the streamer. And you don't even have to use this whole piece. I'm just doing a fly by the seat of your pants video here. And I'm just gonna add a little glue hot glue right at the bottom. I already have my glue heated up, so I'm just gonna squeeze a strip out. Hopefully there's some still in there that is sticky. And then I'm going to just stick it on the bottom of my paper straw, like that, right there. And then I'm just gonna roll it. I guess the hot glue didn't, um, It's okay if it doesn't stick. So basically you're just gonna roll it. You're gonna roll, roll, roll until you get to where you want your broom to look. So you see, you just if you just hold it in place, you can just roll it like that. Cause it's Halloween time and maybe it'll give somebody a good idea. So basically you're just rolling it all away until you get something that looks like a broomstick. Um, you can just pull it a little at the top here, and then you're just twirling, 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 twirling until you get to the end. You could use any color crepe paper you have, like so. And the great thing about crepe paper is you can just squish it like that. So that's what I'm going to do here since my hot glue isn't hot anymore. I just wanted to have extra light for the video so you could see what I'm doing. Okay, so then you have it all rolled up and then all you're gonna do is pull this one end and then pull the other ends straight like that. And then you're just gonna take a piece of string or tape or whatever you want to use on oh, this one. I'm just going to rip part of this off because this part's crooked. It's not going to affect it. 
see, it still looks like a broom. Ta-da! So yeah, you're just gonna roll it. And then pinch it like that. See, and it looks like a broom. And then you're gonna just hot glue it on. And then uh, you can take a piece of washi tape. I used um, an iridescent pink one on this one and I'm gonna just use the same, actually I won't use the same one. Let's see, what other ones do I have in here? This kind of looks like Halloween, so I don't even know. This might even be Halloween washi tape. I have so many washi tapes, it's not even funny. So, perfect way to use your washi tape. So you just need a very small piece of this stuff. You want it to overlap in the back. Just hold it together. Like I said, you want to like glue this crepe paper down because this is just for the video. My glue gun, um, I had to unplug it because I only have so many outlets here. And then you're just going to stick it on like that. And you can just tighten it like that. And then twirl it. And then you have a little broomstick. Of course, you could do it better than this, but kind of get the idea. And then all I did was I trimmed it a little bit to make it even. And then I just pinched up the ends a little bit like that. And then I glued a little pom-pom on the top. Let's see where my pom-poms. Of course, everything <laughs> that I need is missing now. Um, I just used my Maggie Holmes pom-poms for this because they're like the perfect small size. So I think for this one, I'm going to use the yellow. And I'm just going to stick it on top because the glue is not hot anymore. So you get the idea. So you glue it. And then you have your little broomstick. There you go. Like that. So you have two little broomsticks um, from just paper straws. Quick project share. And you can be very creative with this and you can put all different kinds of stickers. These are from like a dollar store from last year. Um, and these pom-poms, like I said, are for the Maggie Holmes carousel and crepe papers from the Dollar Tree. And you can get paper straws anywhere. Just chop them in half, wrap the streamer around the bottom, and then you can just stick washi tape around the bottom. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please make a comment at the bottom and say that you liked it or if it was helpful, I would appreciate it. And if you give me a thumbs up, um, thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye.